What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. And a lot of people always ask me about FBG Duck. Um, you know, I didn't went to his crime scene. I didn't did a lot of blogs about Doug. He's a drill legend. He's like one of the biggest drill legends to ever come out of this shit. So people always ask me about him. I don't think a lot of people understand, you know, when you get the fortune, what come along with it is the fame and people want to know about you. They be intrigued about you. They be enamored by you. So they want to know about you, your upbringing, where you come from, kind of like your whole life, your autobiography. You know, people always ask me about Doug. You know, we all seen them lose this life very grisly, shot multiple times downtown in a nice shopping area where I wouldn't think nobody would want to play around with the Blicks at, the places where the celebrities live at, Oprah live at, the Chicago Bulls players, the Bears players live at. This guy was called lacking out there. Somebody gunned him down, multiple gunmen. I heard it was even four. That's what I seen in the paperwork. Of course, they got how the car look. They got a, a description of the shooter, but they don't know exactly who did it. People not talking. It's a culture in Chicago up. People don't want to tell. Recently, we've been seeing a lot of people who cool with Doug come out the woodworks telling their own story now. Not letting the bloggers do it. I had a chance to talk to EBTBG from Eberhardt. He told me a lot of shit about what's going on in that community and what went on in that community and past dealings in that communities. You now see Trenches News. Uh, his channel kind of going big on YouTube. He's telling people what went on. He was like manager in FBG and he was dealing with them and shit like that. You know, a lot of people feel like that shit kind of greasy though these was they homeboys these was they guys they basically writing books on them um i'm not gonna lie it is a piece of this shit that feels a little funny i'm not gonna lie that a lot of these guys was homeboys and now they throwing each other under the bus kind of feel like a small case of the frenemies then again at the same time it's a lot of people who are telling their story you know it's a lot of platforms that got big gain a lot of subscribers off telling the stories of these people here who really know the real story you know a lot of those stories you guys heard were flabbergasted they were fabricated they were kind of fake they gaslighted the stories added a lot of shit to it the guys who were really there who really knows the real Dylans are now telling their stories. Now, we're not saying they not adding an extra little sprinkle of cap to it to make the story sound big, but, you know, I think who's better to tell your own story than the people who was there? These guys got real information, you know, so... I understand it. I don't knock it. A lot of people feel like all the blogs that's coming out from past guys who were dealing with like Taekwon World and Tukaville and shit like that make it look bad for the hood. I never really looked at it like that. You know, I just think people are to the point now where they got their own platform and they're going to tell their story whether you want to believe it or like it or not. You know, FBG Doug died, you know. It's a lot of rumors it was the back door, a lot of rumors it was his ops. We even hear motherfuckers in the, oh, we here, you know? Um, but at the end of the day, we got to get some evidence that's just hardcore, that's stuck, that statue, that's like glue that's gonna be able to stick. And I'm not sure if anybody wanna work with the testimony or talk or anything. Yeah, his loss, his life was lost in a shopping area that was big, but you know, if ain't nobody's willing to come point nobody out, no DNA evidence, no eyewitness, it's going to be hard to kind of convict this case, though. But, you know, back to my main topic of, you know, do I think it's a problem with guys who from that neighborhood telling their stories? Now, I don't think it's a problem. I think these guys have a right to tell their stories. So many bloggers then did it from academics to me to everybody. So... I think it's fair game if these guys want to tell their own story now and make sure that it can be authentic and get the real truth out, in my opinion. But I appreciate the love. We hit 50,000 subscribers last night. That's amazing. I can't believe that shit. I appreciate everybody. I didn't do it. We all did that shit. You feel me? You guys watch me grow from zero subscribers to 50,000 subscribers. We finna crack 14 million views soon, and we did all this in nine months. That is un-fucking-believable. I love all y'all like a fake kid little cake i couldn't do this shit myself you know and i was thinking about what i'm gonna do for my 50 dollars subscriber i want him to do something funny like kind of like a comedian like fat boy ssc and do some joking shit and then scream and jump in some water and say thanks for the 50 dollars subscribers or i was gonna do like a movie something animated some cinematic or however you pronounce it i was just gonna do something denzel washington ish you feel me something like this
fucking dark house. I don't know. I don't know about all these shooters. I don't know. Dad. I want to get out of this room. Get me trapped. Hey, Dad. Dad. Uh-huh, uh uh-huh. Did you having weird dreams again? Uh-uh, uh-uh. No, I was looking for something. I lost my keys. I I'll be there in a minute. Oh, okay. I gotta stay off that Instead of doing that type of video, which looked a little crazy, I'ma just say, I appreciate the love from all y'all. Y'all dope as hell. I'ma be doing some blessings, man. But this time, you ain't gonna see me do the blessings. You know, I don't wanna do the blessings on camera. But we gonna give away a lot of money, and we gonna bless a lot of people, and we gonna do it without being on the camera. Now, if somebody wanna talk on the camera about after we did it, then we'll record it. But we don't want nobody to see us doing that shit. Because sometimes people be in the struggle, and they don't want the whole world to know they struggle. You feel me? So we ain't finna do shit for the clout, but I appreciate you guys. We hit that 50,000 subscribers real fast. Now we on the road to 60,000 subscribers. So y'all jump on the team, roll with me. I'ma hold you down. It's the homie True Tell the Street Reporter. Blah, 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 blah. And like I always say, I try to do it the E-Way style. You feel me? I try not to look in that nigga lane. I try not to look in that nigga lane. I stay in my own lane. And that's one of the main reasons I haven't crashed off the road and got him and fell off and crashed into something. You feel me? I appreciate the love. It's not only true. Bleh, 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 bleh.